Hello students, here I Priya Sacha, welcome you all in my online class of 7th. Today we will continue with our chapter, chapter number 7, Ratio, Proportion and Unitary Method. Before starting, I would suggest you all to like and subscribe my channel. So whenever I upload my next video, you will get the notification for that. And don't forget to write your name, class and section in the comment box for daily attendance. Let's start with quick revision. Ratio is the comparison of two quantities of the same type and with the same units. If A and B are two numbers, ratio of A and B is A is to B. For example, if we have to find out the ratio of 24 cm to 36 cm, then first we will write in fraction form. Here you can see units are same. So when we will simplify, 2 upon 3 will come and ratio will be 2 is to 3. In 2 is to 3, 2 is called antecedent and 3 is called consequent. This topic is equivalent ratios. Equivalent ratios can be obtained by multiplying or dividing both the terms, the antecedent and the consequent by the same non-zero number. If we have to find out equivalent fraction or equivalent ratio of 3 is to 4, then we can multiply numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number. Here we are multiplying with 2. So 3 2s are 6 and 4 2s are 8. So, equivalent ratio of 3 is to 4 is 6 ratio 8. Like this, we can find out many equivalent ratios to 3 is to 4. Next topic is proportion. When two ratios are equal, they are said to be in proportion. Any four numbers A, B, C and D are in proportion if A is to B is equal to C is to D. It can be written as A is to B as C is to D. The first term A and the fourth term D are called extreme terms or extremes. While the second term B and the third term C are called middle terms or means. If the four quantities A, B, C and D are in proportion, then product of extremes is always equals to product of means. That means A into D is equals to B into C. Next topic is continued proportion. Three numbers A, B and C are said to be in continued proportion if the ratio A is to B and B is to C are in proportion. If these are in proportion, then A into C is equals to B into D. Or we can say A into C is equals to B square. Here B is called the mean proportional between A and C. Till here we have completed before examination. Today we will continue with unitary method. Finding out the value of 1 from many and then the value of many from the 1 is called the unitary method. There are two types of variations are in unitary method. First one is direct variation. When one quantity increase, other will increase. Or if one quantity decrease, other will decrease. At a constant rate that is called direct variation. Here you can see cost of 5 ice creams is rupees 125. Then what will be the cost of 3 ice creams? It will be less, right? So for less quantity of ice creams, amount will be less. So this is an example of direct variation. Next topic is inverse variation. Inverse is very similar to direct. But in an inverse relationship, as one value goes up, the other goes down. For example, if two loaders will fill a truck in 4 hours, then if we will increase in number of loaders, then time taken will reduce. Here you can see if one quantity is increasing, other is decreasing. So this is an example of inverse variation. 
relationship between two quantities for direct variation is y upon x is equals to k or we can say x upon y is equals to k right where formula is x1 upon y1 is equals to x2 upon y2 where as in indirect variation relationship between two quantities will be x y is equals to k and formula is x1 y1 is equals to x2 y2 now come to chapter 7 direct variation one quantity and other quantity in variation two quantities will be given to you right here if one quantity increase other will increase if one quantity decrease other will decrease right so that type variation is called direct variation in which x upon y x is one quantity and y is other quantity so x this one quantity we can write as x and other quantity we can write as y so x upon y is equals to k where k is any constant that means when you will divide these two one quantity and other quantity answer will come same every time right like uh, uh, equivalent fraction 1 upon 2 2 upon 4 uh, 3 upon 6 so when we will solve these types of uh, ratios x upon y every time 1 upon 2 is coming so this is an example of direct variation right so x upon y is equals to k and formula for direct variation is x1 upon y1 is equals to x2 upon y2 clear similarly for inverse variation here one quantity is x and second quantity i am taking y in that case when one quantity increase other will decrease and if one quantity decrease other will increase right so this type of variation is called inverse variation so in that case first quantity and second quantity product is always equals to constant clear x y is equals to k where k is any constant and formula for inverse variation is x1 y1 is equals to x2 y2 so these two formulas we have to use in this exercise 7c right we first we have to recognize which type of variation is this and according to that we have to put formula and in that we have to put formulas value x1 y1 x2 y2's value will be given to you you have to put and you have to find out unknown variable value right now come to exercise 7c first numerical a family needed rupees 6480 to survive for 20 days how long will the family survive with rupees 9396 so in that numerical two uh, quantities are given one is amount and second is days number of days so one quantity we are taking x second quantity we are taking s y first quantity they are saying 6480 rupees to survive for 20 days 6480 rupees for 20 days days we will write here only and amount we will write here and when we will increase in amount 9396 number of days will increase right so when amount will increase number of days will also increase clear family survive for more for more amount more days will be needed clear so this is an example of direct variation and for direct variation formula is x1 upon y1 is equals to x2 upon y2 put the values x1 is 6480 upon y1 is 20 equals to x2 is 9396 and y2 is x 
instead of y2 we can put x or we can write only y2 no problem right so this type of equation will come now do cross multiplication after cross multiplication when we will solve answer will be 29 right so that means family can survive for 29 days with rupees 9396 now sum number 4 a stenographer takes 90 minutes to type 23 pages how long will he take to type 69 pages so quantity 1 is time taken and quantity 2 is number of pages right 90 minutes in 90 minutes a stenographer type 23 pages so how long will he take means you have to find out the time taken to type 69 pages right if we will increase number of pages 22 23 to 69 then time taken will also increase right so this is an example of direct variation and formula for direct variation is x1 upon y1 is equals to x2 upon y2 put the values x1 as 90 y1 as 23 is equals to x2 as x and y2 as 69 and do cross multiplication when we will find the value of x 90 into 69 by 23 23 ones are 23 threes are right and 90 into 3 is 270 so answer can be 270 minutes or you can convert this 270 minutes in hours also so by dividing it by 60 64s are 240 when we will subtract 30 minutes will come so time taken to type 69 pages is 4 hours 30 minutes hope it is clear to you sixth numerical 500 men have provisions for 21 weeks 25 men join them how long will the provisions last so here quantity 1 is number of men that i have taken as x quantity 2 is number of weeks that i have taken as y right so first 500 men have provision for 21 weeks so here we will write number of weeks 21 and here we will write number of men right so 25 men joined after that they are saying 25 men joined so before that 500 men will be there and if we will increase 25 men it becomes 525 500 plus 25 becomes 525 then we have to find out how long will the provision last clear yeah? so that i am taking as x now read the statement if we will increase in number of men 500 to 525 time taken will reduce means number of weeks will reduce if one quantity increase other other will decrease here so this is an example of inverse variation clear put the value of x1 y1 and x2 y2 because for inverse variation formula is x1 y1 is equals to x2 y2 when we will put 500 into 21 500 is x1 and 21 is y1 right is equals to x2 y2 x2 is 525 into y2 is x and when we will shift 525 from right hand side to left hand side we have to divide it x is equals to 500 into 21 upon 525 when you will solve answer will come 20 so that means provisions last for 20 weeks when we will increase 25 men then provision last for 20 weeks
clear now i am giving you some numericals for home tasks do in your classwork notebook those numericals which i have marked as homework you have to do in your classwork notebook sum number 2 4 which i have done for you already so no need to do 7 8 10 clear sum number 12 13 15 19 and 20 these numericals you have to do in your classwork notebook if any query then you can write in comment section pdf of this home task and today's work is also available in description below till then bye bye take care